The Canadian Armed Forces are the unified military forces of Canada, charged with defending Canada, fostering international and domestic security, as well as delivering humanitarian aid. The Royal Canadian Navy, Canadian Army, and the Royal Canadian Air Force make up the Canadian Armed Forces. In this video, we will take a look at every rank in the Canadian Armed Forces. The ranks of the Canadian Armed Forces consist of ranks for non-commissioned members and commissioned officers. Non-commissioned members are soldiers, sailors, and aviators. They are skilled experts with hands-on experience and trade specialties, required to conduct operations in Canada and abroad. Non-commissioned members of the Canadian Armed Forces begin their journey in the Armed Forces as recruits. Recruits have a NATO code of OR1. In the Army, the rank is Private Recruit. In the Air Force, the equivalent rank is Aviator Recruit. In the Navy, the rank is Sailor Third Class Recruit. Following the completion of basic military qualification, Armed Forces members advance to OR2. In the Army, the rank of Private Basic is obtained. In the Air Force, the rank is Aviator Basic. In the Navy, the equivalent rank is Sailor Third Class. Above OR2 is OR3. In the Army, the rank is Private Trained. In the Air Force, the equivalent rank is Aviator Trained. In the Navy, the corresponding rank is Sailor Second Class. Next up is OR4. In the Army and Air Force, the rank is Corporal. In the Navy, the equivalent rank is Sailor First Class. Above OR4 is OR5. In the Army and Air Force, the rank is Master Corporal. In the Navy, the equivalent rank is Master Sailor. Next up is OR6. In the Army and Air Force, the rank is Sergeant. In the Navy, the equivalent rank is Petty Officer Second Class. With less than three years seniority, members in these ranks are considered OR5. Above OR6 is OR7. In the Army and Air Force, the rank is Warrant Officer. In the Navy, the equivalent rank is Petty Officer First Class. Next up is OR8. In the Army and Air Force, the rank is Master Warrant Officer. In the Navy, the equivalent rank is Chief Petty Officer Second Class. The final grade for non-commissioned members of the Canadian Armed Forces is OR9. In the Army and Air Force, the rank is Chief Warrant Officer. In the Navy, the equivalent rank is Chief Petty Officer First Class. Members in the OR9 grade may be selected for senior appointments. In the Army and Air Force, there are the following appointments. Senior Appointment Chief Warrant Officer, Command Chief Warrant Officer, and Canadian Forces Chief Warrant Officer. In the Navy, there are the following equivalent appointments. Senior Appointment Chief Petty Officer First Class, Command Chief Petty Officer First Class, and Canadian Forces Chief Warrant Officer. Above the ranks for non-commissioned members are the ranks for commissioned officers. Commissioned officers of the Canadian Armed Forces are responsible for planning, organizing, commanding, and evaluating the activities of personnel in the Canadian Armed Forces. Commissioned officers in the Canadian Armed Forces begin their journey in the Armed Forces as cadets. Cadets are classified as subordinate officers and are yet to be granted a commission. In the Army and Air Force, they have the training rank of Officer Cadet. In the Navy, the equivalent training rank is Naval Cadet. After completing basic officer training, cadets receive a commission. The first two ranks achievable by commissioned officers have a NATO code of OF1. In the Army and Air Force, the first rank is Second Lieutenant. In the Navy, the first equivalent rank is Acting Sub-Lieutenant. In the Army and Air Force, the second rank is Lieutenant. In the Navy, the second equivalent rank is Sub-Lieutenant. Next up is OF2. In the Army and Air Force, 
the rank is captain. In the Navy, the equivalent rank is lieutenant. Following these ranks, commissioned officers are usually promoted to major in the Army and Air Force. In the Navy, the equivalent rank is lieutenant commander. Next up is OF4. In the Army and Air Force, the rank is lieutenant colonel. In the Navy, the equivalent rank is commander. Following these ranks, commissioned officers are usually promoted to colonel in the Army and Air Force. In the Navy, the equivalent rank is captain. Next up is OF6. In the Army and Air Force, the rank is Brigadier General. In the Navy, the equivalent rank is Commodore. Following these ranks, commissioned officers are usually promoted to Major General in the Army and Air Force. In the Navy, the equivalent rank is Rear Admiral. Next up is OF8. In the Army and Air Force, the rank is Lieutenant General. In the Navy, the equivalent rank is Vice Admiral. The highest grade for commissioned officers in the Canadian Armed Forces is OF9. In the Army and Air Force, the rank is General. In the Navy, the equivalent rank is Admiral. Officers in these ranks usually serve as the Chief of the Defence Staff. The Chief of the Defence Staff is the professional head of the Canadian Armed Forces. The CDS is responsible for all Canadian Armed Forces operations and readiness as well as their ability to fulfill the military commitments and obligations of the government. That's all for the ranks of the Canadian Armed Forces. Did you know that nearly 40,000 members of the Canadian Armed Forces served in the Balkans? From the early 1990s to the early 2000s, a series of ethnic and nationalist conflicts took place in Southeast Europe. The conflict involved several countries, including Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, Croatia, Kosovo, and Montenegro. The first direct Canadian involvement came between 1991 and 1992. 23 Canadians lost their lives in the various missions and many more were injured. If you didn't know this, you learnt it on the Military Stuff channel. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel and check out our other videos.